Han with Xinhua News Agency. And I'm Monica Guy. So we're reporting from the West Palm Beach in Florida as Chinese President Xi Jinping is meeting with U.S. President Donald Trump at the Mar-a-Lago Resort in West Palm Beach, Florida. And Mar-a-Lago Resort is right behind us. In Spanish, it means Sea to Lake as it borders the Atlantic Ocean on one side and the Florida's Intracoastal Waterway on the other side. And since President Trump was inaugurated in January, he spent a lot of weekends here hosting dignitaries. And it's one of the places that his administration says he feels most comfortable welcoming foreign officials. And it has a wonderful 126 in rooms for visitors to stay. There's also a very private and exclusive residence for the first family. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget, there's that 20,000 square foot ballroom with seven million dollars worth of gold leaf. You no know, one, it is one of the most highly regarded private clubs in the world, and it carries an initiation fee of 100,000 U.S. dollars plus an annual fee of 14,000 dollars for the privilege of using all the facilities. It's a very profitable business, and as of January 2017, the initiation fee has reportedly doubled. Now, a little history about the Mar-a-Lago estate. It was built by Marjorie Merriweather Post. She was a prominent American socialite in the 1920s. She hired a very influential American architect to create her estate. She used hundreds of workers to get it done, and at that time in the 1920s, it cost several million dollars, and it took four years to do it. Yeah, and by the time uh, when Post died in 1973, uh, the Mar-a-Lago Resort was actually given to the U.S. government as a presidential retreat. But later the government decided to return it because the maintenance cost was just too high. Now in an interesting piece of trivia, Donald Trump actually bought the Mar-a-Lago estate in the mid-80s for his personal use. And he renovated it and did a lot of repair work because it had fallen into disrepair. And then he opened it as a private and very exclusive American club. Mm -hmm. And now he affectionately calls it the Southern White House. 